Hi, my name is Eric Lawrence. In this video, I want to show you how to use Fiddler's filter features to filter traffic by application. Fiddler is a system proxy, which means that you'll see traffic from your browsers and other applications. In some cases, this is desirable, but in others, it's not. The simplest way to filter traffic in Fiddler by process is to use the status bar. You can click on the status bar to show traffic from all processes, only web browsers, including IE, Chrome, Firefox, and others, non-browser applications like Microsoft Word, and you can also temporarily hide all traffic from all applications. Beyond the status bar filter, you can use the filters tab to filter traffic to a specific process, or you can show only Internet Explorer traffic, or you can hide platform traffic from the RSS feeds platform. The new way to filter traffic was introduced in Fiddler 2.2.4.6, and it's a per-process filter, which means that you're able to filter traffic down to a specific process. Let's take a look at how that works. Say that you're on the Fiddler page here, and say that you've got a tab at msdn.microsoft.com in the background. Ordinarily, you'd be seeing traffic from both of these applications, as you can see here. But say that you don't want to see this traffic. You only want to see traffic from that first tab. Internet Explorer includes a new feature in IE8 called Loosely Coupled IE. Loosely Coupled IE means that Internet Explorer runs each tab within a different process. We can take advantage of this in Fiddler using the Process Picker. Drag the Process Picker to a target process, and it will filter traffic to just that application. In this case, Internet Explorer Process ID 5056. Traffic in background tabs running in different processes will not be impacted. And so while this traffic continues to flow through Fiddler, it's not shown in the display. To cancel a filter, just right click on the process filter and it will go back to showing traffic from all processes. That's it for this time. Thanks.